Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for the month of November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to shuffle for a bit. Green. I'm seeing green. Some of you could be going through a heart ch chakra activation. Some of you might be in love, um, a new love. And if you are in love, I'm seeing red now, so it's pretty passionate, pretty fiery. You might be connecting with a fire sign. You also might be connecting with a Taurus. Um, I just did the Taurus reading, and um, I was seeing blue, the light blue color that I often see when I'm connecting with um, with uh, air signs, and um, the, the, the leading energy there was Gemini, even though it could be any air sign. Um, and Gemini did come out in the Taurus reading in the form of the lovers, so uh, you, you could be really feeling very passionate about a Taurus, or about someone else it's lustful so be careful of that it could be a very knight of wands type you know here one second gone the next but yeah but there's heart chakra activation happening for you guys um where your heart might have been once closed off now it seems to be opening up the full moon in Taurus that we had in on the 24th of October could have really helped you with that. Scorpio season could be helping you that with helping you with that too. All right, Gemini. Gemini. All right, cool. I'm gonna cut the deck here. Boop. Let's see what we've got for you, Gemini. Judgment. All right. Resurrection. Rebirth. Um, you're hearing the call. This and then, and then if you were in a position where your heart was closed off, well, now your heart really is opening up and the universe is helping you with that. The universe is kind of kind of waking you out of a slumber of sorts. But if it's not that for you, then there's just there's a new beginning. There's a resurrection. There could be a reconciliation here. But you've got the eight of swords. Okay. You also have the Six of Wands, but then at the same time, you've got the Seven of Swords. All right. 
Um, there could be a bunch of ego and pride going on here. Now, um, for those of you that are going through a heart chakra activation, heart chakra opening, um, you're probably having a little bit of an ego battle surrounding this uh, because the six of wands often can talk about um, ego and um, pride, um, keeping up, a, keeping up appearance, um, putting on a brave face. Sorry, guys. I'm, I need chapstick and I'm trying to find it. Okay. Um, and so that really, especially with the eight of swords here, you could feel trapped. You could be going through a situation, an ego battle in which you're, you closed yourself off um, and now in the universe helping you open yourself back up, you could feel a sense of entrapment in, within the energies that you adopted in order to close yourself off. Um, and that was to protect yourself, okay? Now, in with the Seven of Swords here, um, deception, but this is self-deception, okay? Feeling like you can't open yourself up again. Um... Yeah. Also, you could be dealing with a Leo. Often I see the Six of Wands as a, a, a Leo energy because of the pride. Um, there also could be a situation in which you're being enlightened to some sort of deception, cheating, lying, backstabbing. I just saw 444 on the counter. Um, or there could be some sort of reconciliation after you know, cheating or whatnot. And um, with, and you could feel trapped in the Eight of Swords situation. You might be kind of blindfolded to the truth about the situation. You might be kind of closed off towards reconciliation. Um, maybe like cheating is somewhat, cheating or even just like lying, backstabbing, whatever. That could be somewhat of a deal breaker for you. And so with your heart opening up again and you feeling a call or maybe even a push towards reconciliation, you might feel kind of trapped in the old energies. But here in that situation, the Six of Wands is saying that there is a victory here, okay? You have the potential to achieve some sort of victory. So I would go with it, okay? First set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, you have <clears throat> the Fool. All right, so a brand new beginning. Uh, taking a leap of faith. Okay, and that is absolutely falling in line with what's going on here. Five, five, five on the counter. Change, guys. That's what's that's falling in line here. So you have the opportunity to start anew, start fresh, uh, maybe with someone else, with yourself, or maybe with this, with a with the same person or a similar situation. Okay, the Fool is coupled with. Ah, here you are, Gemini, the King of Swords. So being discerning about it, um, being objective about it, being kind of detached, but also I'm getting a very rigid energy here with the King of Swords. Um, I feel like you might be overly defensive, too protective, or maybe just too emotionally detached to really allow yourself to take this leap of faith in whatever way that resonates for you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, you've got... The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, enlightenment, illumination from within, okay? So it's going to take, um, I mean, this is an energy of finding your own inner truth, your own inner light, coming to terms with certain things within. Maybe if you found yourself in a situation where there was a kind of a, 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 a um, you know, the destruction of a situation with someone, of a relationship with someone, the damage of a situation with someone. The Seven of Swords energy here could be self-deception in the sense that maybe there were some elements within you that helped make the situation worse than it actually is, okay? The Hermit is coupled with, ah, the Ten of Swords. So someone got hurt pretty badly here, okay? And this is either you, Gemini, or maybe this is the other person that you're connecting with. But someone got hurt. Um, and it's very much 
the end of the situation. So this could either, this is, okay, so I'm feeling, feeling it in this way. This is the end of the situation in the sense that if this, if something doesn't change within, then there is no re 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 reconciliation or anything like that. However, should someone come to an understanding, a deeper understanding within, do some soul searching and under, get some, gain some inner enlightenment, then the worst is behind you, okay? Because you have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about the worst being behind you. But either way, this was a pretty destructive, damaging situation. This could be, now the King of Swords here could be you, Gemini. It could be another person. You really, you could be connecting with a Leo here, okay? And it could be that Leo that's looking at this new start like, mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know about that. You're going to have to do some soul searching for this to be done. But I really feel like whoever's embodying this King of Swords energy is kind of looking at a new start at, in like a, nah. I'm hearing a hard no for some. Not, th not until some things change. Now, this could be you, Gemini. Don't get me wrong. This doesn't have to be the other person. And it doesn't have to be just the Leo. It really could be any sign. It also could be another air sign, Aries or Sagittarius. But it really could be another, air, an, another I'm sorry, another fire sign, <laughs> Aries or Sagittarius. But it could be anyone else. You could be also be connecting with another air sign, uh, Libra or Aquarius. Your challenge for the first half of the month, the Page of Wands. Yep, that introspection I was talking about here with the Hermit, because the Page of Wands for me is self-discovery. Um, redefining yourself also. Page of Wands is coupled with the High Priestess. Wow. All of the secrets that you've hidden about yourself or all, all of the character characteristics of yourself that were hidden underneath the surface are, I believe, coming to the surface. The challenge here is discovering these things. The challenge here is understanding yourself on a deeper level. And I really, I really feel like I'm getting an energy of, for some of you, a situation has ended because of a need for deeper introspection. I'm, I'm picking that up here from the Hermit and the Ten of Swords. The potential outcome for the first half of the month, you've got... The Nine of Cups. Okay, so there's some wish fulfillment coming in here. Either it could be, you know, reconciliation with this person that you're dealing with or um, fulfillment that would come in through this under this deeper understanding of yourself. Okay, whether you're reconciling with this with another person or not. It could also be a reconciliation within yourself, too. Right, let me just throw that out there. <laughs> Nine of Cups is coupled with the Hanged Man. Look, more introspection. And, uh, wow. And so the hanged man is being in a precarious situation in order to gain some sort of enlightenment. So uh, for a lot of you, I'm really feeling like the strongest energy, 11-11, the strongest energy I'm seeing here for whoever I'm channeling for, either the Gemini or someone else, a cross-watcher for the Gemini, um, the wish fulfillment is going to come from needing to take some time on your own to figure yourself out, to gain some sort of enlightenment, either from within, your, from within yourself or enlightenment around the situation. I feel like if you two were to spend time away from each other, disconnect from the situation, especially with the King of Swords here, this King of Swords is very detached, is not emotionally in, uh, uh, invested in a situation, is very logical about it. So I really feel like should you guys take some time away from each other, you will potentially really see the deeper situation and either that will lead to a reconciliation or it will lead to um, greater fulfillment in the future now that you understand these things better, okay? The strongest thing I'm getting here is this is going to lead to better things in the future once you understand more, not necessarily with this same person, but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Because judgment, which is crowning your reading, does talk about reconciliation. But again, the strongest thing I'm feeling here, Gemini, is um, resurrection within yourself, starting anew, starting afresh, okay? Which then, right there, you've got that new start in the beginning of the month with the fool, okay? So you have an opportunity to really take a leap of faith, take a new, a fresh new look, start a new cycle, okay? The 
First set of surrounding energies for the second half of your month, you've got the Queen of Swords. Oh my goodness, look at that. You've got the counterparts here, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. They're in the same position. So in the beginning of the month, you're looking at things things um, objectively, you're detached, you're using discernment. In the second half of the month, now you're really using discernment or someone is really using discernment here. But the, the focus here with the Queen of Swords, in my opinion, is cutting out the drama. Okay, so either now this could be you, Gemini, as an air sign. It could be another air sign. You could have more air in your chart. Or this could just be the other person in the situation that's saying, look, I just don't want the drama. Just don't want the drama. The Queen of Swords is coupled with the star. You really could be dealing with another air sign, mainly a, a, an Aquarius here, because the star is the card of Aquarius. Um... If someone does disconnect with you, if someone does really put the final kibosh on the situation, don't worry, because you have both cards that speak to wish fulfillment. You've got the Nine of Cups and the potential outcome for the end of your month, uh, for, I'm sorry, for the first half of the month. And now the surrounding energies in the second half of the month is the star. So I really feel like someone did cut you out or you cut someone else out. But this is in service. The universe is saying this is in favor of greater wish fulfillment and healing, okay? Because the star does talk about healing. Someone could be really putting putting the hard no on a situation in efforts to heal from it. Does that mean you could reconcile again in the future? Yes, absolutely it does. Anything is possible. But right now, someone is really putting the hard no on a situation in order for healing to happen, but also in order for wish fulfillment to be delivered, okay? Um and, and also check the check the the Taurus video. Um because if you're connecting with a Taurus, their first card that came out in the first set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month is death. So there are some Taurans out there that are really going through a change or a transformation, okay? And healing through that. So that really could be this energy here. And I want to stress that just because someone's putting a hard no on the situation at this time doesn't mean it's a, whole, a no forever. Just going to put that out there. Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month, you've got, ooh, the five of swords. All right, so there's conflict. Could you be the shit starter here, Gemini? Um, this is, again, more air energy. Could be another air sign, Libra or Aquarius, but there's some shit starter energy here. There's some one-upmanship. There's winning at all costs. Um, this could talk about the retrograde. Venus is in retrograde until about the 16th of November. Five of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Fighting, arguments, um, pettiness, okay? But then I feel like there's some friction when it comes to the long term. I feel like there are differing opinions between you and someone else. Um, I... I feel like someone is really relationship, like long-term oriented, while the other one is more about the now. And the one being about the now, I really feel like is you, Gemini, or it could be the other air sign that is in your life. And that's causing friction. Um, and that's causing, that could be causing some people to be petty. Because... And I feel like it's coming from the person that's about, about the here and the now is not necessarily looking down the pipeline. Um, and because of that, because of the uh, differing opinions here, whoever is about the here and the now, it's kind of like, well, if I'm not going to get what I want from you, then I'm just going to be a petty little bitch. Ugh. I would caution anybody against that. Please don't let, please don't let me tell you what to do. But I'm looking at this five of swords energy and I'm feeling like this is the Gemini in the situation. And I really advise against that because it's it's self-destructive it's only going to hurt even though you might come out victorious in the moment you may feel like prideful and that could be that pride and ego that's coming through here okay with the six of wands that's on the top the, that's crowding the reading so you might feel all good and prideful and like you won like you got over on someone but in the end you're just gonna lose why because then that person is going to look back and be like oh well you know i don't know if i want to deal with this situation anymore because it's just going to turn into a petty argument and i and i don't have time for that
I would caution you, and I really, the strongest energy that's coming through with this Five of Swords is that of the Gemini here in this situation, all right? Hate to break it to you. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's triggering you or whatnot, but I, I got to I gotta call it like I see it, okay? Your challenge for the second half of the month, we have the Ace of Pentacles. See, this is... The challenge here is offering something stable, offering something long-term, or accepting something long-term, okay? Understanding that there are some situations that you're going to have to deal with in the here and now that might be a little bit uncomfortable, but in the long-term, it will be it could be for the benefit of the, of the family, of the situation, of the relationship, okay? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with justice. So you could be dealing with, again, you could be dealing with another air sign, mainly now Libra, okay? But the challenge here is that there's going to be some justice brought to a situation in the form of commitment. And I feel this is, in, I just heard, this is justice being brought in the form of a long-standing commitment. So some of you could be in a situation where you've been with someone for a while um, but now things are getting kind of rocky because I feel like some someone might be like, I don't know, maybe feeling neglected in a way. But I really feel what I'm hearing is that's all ego and pride. Because ultimately someone has been offering a stable connection. And so there's justice being brought to it. That is the challenge here. So it could be pretty tumultuous. It could be a little painful. But what I'm getting, what I'm getting with the Ace of Pentacles and the and the and Justice specifically is that someone who wants to really offer a commitment, a long-standing thing, whoever is oriented with this Ten of Pentacles energy here, you're gonna get some justice. So that either could be you, Gemini, or it could be a cross watcher that's dealing with a Gemini, okay? Justice is going to be served and is falling in the challenge position of the second half of the month here because it might be a little bit painful, all right? It could be challenging to accept whatever justice is delivered. The potential outcome for the second half of the month, you got the Page of Swords. More air energy. So actually, I really feel like this is you, Gemini. Um, you, I feel like you are going to be watching someone scoping them out. If someone ended a situation with you, I feel like, and if this is for the Gemini that's that's taking on this petty Five of Swords energy, I feel like you're going to be at the end of the month, should they have ended, the, really like officially ended the situation with you and they're moving on, you're t adopting this energy of, well, are they really doing what they said they were going to do? Mm-hmm. Pettiness. The Page of Swords is coupled with the King of Pentacles. Well, are they going to do what they really said that they're going to do? And the King of Pentacles is sitting there like, yeah, I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. This now you really could be you really could be connecting with an Earth sign, um, Taurus, potentially mainly because that came through or Gemini came out in the Taurus reading, um, but it could be another Earth sign. I'm picking up Capricorn too, ish, heavily, heavily, and it also could be a Virgo because you do have the her the Hermit here, and the Hermit is the Virgo card. Um, and it's funny because I'm seeing the the Page of Pent. I'm sorry, the Knight of Pent. Wow, I can't talk right now. The King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords are kind of looking at each other, and the Page of Swords. I, I I'm feeling like the Page of Swords is standing there with his sword ready sword ready to like cut someone up should they find you catch someone else slipping and the king of pentacles is just sitting there on this on his throne looking at this childish individual like are you kidding me right now <laughs> oh goodness gracious all right so let's get into your oracle reading your oracle guidance here from the unicorns for Gemini, the month of November 2018. But also what I want to say here is this King of Pentacles, who and it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be a fire sign. I did say Leo originally because the, um, the Six of Wands to me talks about Leo energy. Um, 
But whoever is adopting this King of Pentacles energy is the one that's focused on the Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles energy, okay? So they're very serious. They mean business. They're not fucking around. Like, and, and someone is adopting this energy of, well, I just don't believe you. And it's like, okay, fine. You can believe, you cannot believe me all you want, but I'm going to continue doing my thing, says the King of Pentacles. And you're just going to be asked out when you come to the, actually come to the realization that I did mean business. I wasn't trying to be egoic about it. I was telling you the truth. I was like, this is what I want. And if you don't want that, that's fine. But I'm going to continue on, on my direction and do it. Okay, here we go. For Gemini, for the month of November 2018, your oracle guidance from the unicorns. Gemini. Woo! Okay. Underneath the deck, you have action. Now... Action needs to be taken here. Now is a perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. And okay, great. And you have the the two wish fulfillment cards here. Uh, the, the nine of cups and the stars. So really take action towards what it is you're dreaming about. And if that is, if that's, you being free from a situation, from a commitment, because you're not about you're really not about the long term right now, then do that. There's no shame in that. Do what it is that'll make you happy. Honor yourself. You have celebration here. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. So, and then, hello, you've got the six of wands crowning the reading and your overall energy. So it's not like all is lost here. There is a cause for celebration here, whether that's you have your newfound independence or whether that's the situation now is much more grounded than it was, than it used to be. Passion, do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. I feel, I really feel like this is talking to someone that's about to be newly single or or, or is newly single, okay? And is, just, so instead, I really, I really want to say, instead of fighting so hard to make, an old and outdated situation work, reconnect with yourself, reconnect with your passions. I mean, you have that here with the hermit. Understanding yourself, finding your inner light, finding your truth, and move forward with what you're passionate about, okay? Don't let anybody hold you back. And then you've got discernment, and you've got, yeah, there's a shit ton of a discernment here with the king and the queen of swords, all right? Uh, all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. So if there's someone that's leaving your life right now, it's probably, well, it is for your highest good. It's not what it seems. It may, it may be it's the end of a situation, but again, it's not as bad as it seems, okay? And it's funny. It's so funny because you really, I really feel like if you have Taurus in your chart or you're connecting with the Taurus or you're really just jet, rat, vibing with this, um, with this reading, especially since we just had a full moon on October 24th that was in Taurus, you might want to watch that video because discernment came out as the oracle card for Taurus. As well as action. Action was on the bottom of the deck and you have action here on the bottom of the deck for you. So I would really recommend um, those of you who are really resonating with this energy, this, this reading here, Check out the Taurus video. Even if you're not connecting with the Taurus or you don't have Taurus in your chart, it's mainly because of it could be about that full moon that we just had in Taurus on October 24th. And also with the sun being in Scorpio, we are in Scorpio season. We will be until the end of November. Um, so Scorpio season, which came out because the sun was in the overall energy and then death came out as the first card and the first set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, Scorpio season really could be challenging for you really could be drumming up some sh some shit you really could be going through a transformation during scorpio season so also potentially maybe i would watch the scorpio video too just to get an, a sense of the energies that the scorpio season might be holding for you how scorpio season might be uh, uh, uh affecting you yeah all right gemini there it is thank you so much for tuning in much love to you guys i look forward to connecting with you again for the month of december and i want to wish all of you here in the united states a very happy thanksgiving yeah take care Mwah! bye